A few days ago, I got the badge of honor. The Ryobi honor. So as you can see, I'm still missing stuff for my wall because that's still at James' house. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some lawn care. We're going to, I'm going to whip out the one plus 16 inch lawnmower. I'm going to mow the front grass. We got to seed it. Uh, and we're going to do some weed whacking today with both weed whackers. And we're going to do it with only using these three batteries, two 4 amp hour batteries and one 3 amp hour HP battery. So I did want to give a shout out to uh, someone that uh, I watch constantly, someone that I binge watch. Uh, he is called Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff. His channel is about all brand of tools competing against each other to see which tool is best for a certain situation going against each other in head-to-head -head battles of doing uh, tasks, check out Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff. He's worth, uh, he's worth the subscribe. But let's whip out this lawnmower and get to work. This, this is light too. Make sure you keep the connections clean. <laughs> This is the, the kill key, so in case you don't want kids accidentally hurting themselves, you got that. I like that feature. I like that. Yes, it does.
so, <coughs> so I pretty much just, I pretty much just did half of my yard. And uh, this is able to take the abuse uh, with still running with tall, thick grass along a hill. Now since I, uh, I did half the yard, let's see what my battery is at. These batteries, these batteries are warm. They are very warm. Close to being hot. All right, both of them are pretty much drained. Uh, so I'm gonna let these cool off and charge them, and I'm gonna actually do some weed whacking. It's been about 10 minutes. These batteries are just warm now, they're not hot. Let's see if they charge. Yes, they do. One does. And the other charges as well. My armpits are a little sweaty. Oh. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to talk about this since last fall. Let's talk about the 18 volt 16 inch one plus lawn mower. That's better because I don't want that light overexposing this and blurring me. So, anyways, this. Vacuum, oh, this vacuum, this lawn mower does the freaking trick. It, it truly does. And you see, I, I actually have a big lawn. I have a decent sized backyard. Uh, and it takes, just like it took last year, it takes two uh, full four amp hour batteries to do the front and the sides. Then it usually takes 50% of two four amp hour batteries to do the back. So, I ha if you have the efficient, uh, if, since I have the sufficient amount of batteries, I could easily do my backyard sides and front yard in uh, in one session. So it, it seriously is quiet, and I love that about this. Now, as you can see, I have the hill. I have that little hill there. Now, when we first got this house, we got a brand new gas-powered uh, lawnmower, and it was heavy. So when I would do that hill, it would slide down a lot faster than this does. And it would take, because it's heavy, it would take more of an effort to get it back up the hill. And that was always a struggle to do. But with this one, I have no issue whatsoever. Uh, this is my, that's my second time uh, mowing that this year so far. And it's been raining a lot, so it grew really fast. Uh, so yeah, it, uh, as you can see, it did not, uh, in the video, you did not see this stop by itself. It blowed right, it uh, plowed right through everything. And, uh, and yes, and the design, I love this design. I love the, you know, in the beginning when I first got this, because I wasn't, you know, into this Ryobi as much as I am now, I thought it would look weird if like, oh, here's a guy in a green, and a bright green lawnmower, you know, mowing his lawn when everyone else has black or red. But I'm actually proud of this color now. I'm like, and I, I, I mow my, I mow my grass in with pride. It is very easy to adjust the height. Like it take you, only, you only have to do one lever, and I could even do it up here. It's that easy. That's number one. There we go. That's number five. It's that easy. It's that easy to adjust. And the design, the design of this is seriously awesome. You know, it's a, it's a very sleek design. You know, it is 16 inch. It is not 20. So uh, it is it is a bit narrow. And uh, and yes, it's awesome. Now, when it comes to when it comes to the batteries that you could put in here, what you can do is put a four amp hour here and a bigger battery here, like a six amp hour or nine amp hour. It wouldn't close all the way, but you you actually can. What they should have done with this was have a little bit of hindsight. They should have made this uh, this first one in the depth to where you could put a six amp hour battery in there. But I'm pretty sure the six amp hour batteries didn't exist when this came out. So they didn't. So, but as, as you can see, it's, 
it is put, it's designed for the four amp hour batteries to go in there. You know, that, that that's your power source for this. That's seriously awesome. You don't have to worry about gas. You don't have to worry about oil. And because of that, you could hang this up. It seriously is a bad mamma jamma. Ryobi did a good job designing this. You know, the the 40, what they could, what I wish they did do was make a 20 inch in the 18 volt system. You know, with uh, if you use three, four amp hour batteries or, so, or something like that. Uh, I love the 40 volt uh, 20 inch design, but I do not want to buy a whole new line of batteries just for a lawnmower and a weed whacker or the outside gardening stuff. I The point of me getting all these tools is the 18 volt system. So I want to stay within that line. So what I have, to, what I get to use, what I'm limited to use is the 16 inch for the biggest size, which I'm cool with. So yes, so I, I love this thing. I uh, recommend anyone getting this if they have the proper size yard. Of course, the size of lawnmower that you have depends on that you need depends on the type of lawn you have. So it would take me about an, about an hour and a half to do my entire lawn, which is not bad at all. You know, an hour and a half every, every, every week is not bad. What this is, there we go. And there we go, that's done. I meet up with Michael, that works at that Home Depot by me and McHenry from time to time. He gave me this banner and I can't wait to hang this up and I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna hang it up right here. Solution to my problem. Solution right here. Uh, paint uh, mixer. Perfect! And from now on it's gonna be behind me. So that's gonna be that's gonna be good. So today was a successful day. Now I'm gonna end this video here. You know, that are all summer long. I'm, I'm gonna upload uh, gardening videos when it comes to the Ryobi tools and we're gonna get more Ryobi tools if necessary, which I think we will because our lawn is bad. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you for tuning in. This is David Nicholas and I'll see you guys next time.